Friends, you're here with me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch, and we are making a hoodoo oil lamp for money workings, okay? Um, I started this spell with a... The video right before this was how I've done up this... Woo! Three-day candle vigil. Um, I've written my intent in future... In future tents on the outside. I've stuffed herbs bank dirt, and espresso um, for speed, and then I, off camera, I added my DNA. I added one drop to each hole, um, and for those of you who know me personally, um, I don't have to say any more. If you want to know what kind of DNA I added, just uh, ask below and I'll tell you in the comments. So this is how I've written it out, because this is what I need, and I have no problem sharing with you guys my truths. Um, Jennifer has replaced the lost income of a thousand dollars a month so mode it be I, I had some clients in Seattle who I would go massage their family once every two weeks and it was five hundred dollars well that's a thousand dollars a month that I'm lost because oh my gosh my friend is so sweet her mother her mother um, needs a new car so she just bought her one and so now she has this car payment for her mother, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the sweetest thing, I totally understand. But I need the universe to bring this to me some other way, you know what I mean? So, um, that's that. Now let's talk about what I'm going to put in the oil lamp, because the herbs are going to be different. Remember, when you put the herbs into an oil lamp, and this is one I've done up for psychic abilities, you don't want herbs to go in there that aren't going to stay together. You know, you want big, chunky herbs, in my opinion. Otherwise, like, if I put powdered iobrite in there, it would turn into mud, you know? So, um, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Now, you can either use a green lamp, which I suggest for money workings, or a clear or white lamp. I'm going to use a clear lamp in this video because I want to be able to see my herbs, and I want you to be able to see them too, okay? So, if you want to know where I got the same exact setup with a giant jug of oil and an extra wick for under $20. Watch uh, two videos before this one, and it's how to make an hoodoo oil lamp under $20, Taxidermy Witch, and that's this setup, so altogether I think it was $17 plus tax, uh, with tax. Okay, so, into this. Now I've had the wick soaking for days, but you want to let it soak for at least an hour. When you first get it, you want to rub it down with Florida water. You want to bless it and bring it into your home, okay? Um, now let me tell you, I'm adding a special piece of money. Um, my bosses never give me more than the exact amount on my paycheck, and uh, I get paid in cash. Um, and she gave me two extra dollars and rounded it to $420 instead of 418 They've never, ever, ever, ever done that in the 20 years I've known them. So, this dollar to me and that other one is very, very, very special. It came from her hands to me and it was a gift. Um, so, to me that's special. I'm adding this paper money in. And I am adding seven quarters. Whatever number spirit tells you or whatever number calls to you, that's the number you should add. Uh, I will be adding a whole nutmeg. After you add each thing, put your intent into that. Ask the nutmeg. Nutmeg, bring me money. Please help me with my finances. Um, now I'm going to be putting in a uh, piece of a grapevine. All of these suggestions of herbs are coming out of this book. And what I do is I just go through the whole book and circle which ones I have, and then pick out what I've got and put it in there. I suggest you guys do the same thing, because it's a great way to do it, and you can use a different thing every time. And if you have a book of shadows, you note down what you used, and that way you know, and, and then you note down how well it worked, and that way you know for next time. I'm adding a big piece of William My Mandrake Root in here. This is poisonous, you guys. You don't want to touch it with bare hands. And that's not going to go in. I love you, baby. There we are. Thank 
you, William. William, help me find my way to this money. I'm putting a cinnamon stick in, and I'm going to breathe my intent into that. Cinnamon will help me find the money I need. A big old piece of dill from my garden. It's got the seeds still in it. I did a big video on dill. If you don't know about its magical properties, there are so many. Um, I've got the numbers I've got. I'm just asking spirit, you guys, or I use magical numbers that I like. This is eight, and eight is uh, in numerology is a big number for money, but that's the number that came out of the jar when I asked spirit. Uh, so that was the allspice. Allspice, please help me find the monies that I need. And now here we've got buckwheat. Buckwheat is something we have in the house in seed form and in live form because my husband grows them as microgreens. Little buckwheats, please help us find the money we need. And if one falls out, it wasn't meant to be in there, guys. Just leave it out. Put it on your floor and cleanse the floor with it later. Okay, I... Spirit was asking for a lot of clove, which is awesome. I love clove. Okay. And most all of these things, all of, most all of these herbs, like I said, are in this candle back here burning. Um, now I've got some flax seeds. I didn't put a lot in there because they can kind of like absorb, absorb moisture. And this will be a test to see how well they do in there. Uh, I've got a little bit of chamomile. Chamomile, please help us with the money that we need and finding it and keeping it in the home. Oh, I didn't think this through. I thought the opening would be bigger. I want to put three of these orange dried oranges in. I just love touching these. Such good ASMR. <laughs> hmm. So I'm going to have to break it in, I think. There we go. Oh, these are so good. If you can slice them thin enough on a mandolin and candy them. Oh my goodness. These dried oranges I just sent to a bunch of my girlfriends. They're so amazing in perfumes. Um... And they just look so beautiful in these oils, to be quite honest and frank. And if any of the smell comes through, wow, that's going to be gorgeous. I've not put orange into a lamp yet, so this is all going to be new for me, too. So beautiful. It smells divine. And that's, again, why I keep them in glass rather than, like, paper or plastic, because the smell just locks into the glass. Let's look at how beautiful it is so far. Oh, my goodness. Uh, now we've got a single pecan. Pecan and cashew were good for money workings, but cashew I thought would get too weird in there. Um, and also almonds. Okay. This is a piece of pine from my very home, so I'm asking that this pine bring the money to this home, the home of this pine. And that pine is going to this go amazing with that orange if you put it in a perfume or something too. Okay, <clears throat> rice, um, something people throw at weddings for money, yeah? Putting some rice into that lamp. And last but not least, a couple of the bits of beauty bark from the bank dirt. And I don't want this to become a mud, so I'm really just putting in a couple of chunks of bank dirt. Because 
is bank is the root of the money. And then now, if you need this to be fast, you wouldn't want to add espresso, uh, like ground espresso like I did to the candle. You would want to add espresso beans, okay? So I'm not going to add this powder to here. But if I have some coffee beans in my house, I'll be adding those in, okay? <clears throat> and so that's what I would suggest to you. So I'm just doing like three chunks of the beauty bark, and then I'm going to be done with it. And this is my lamp. Now, if I would have put it in the green holder, it would just have that color magic attached to it, that green for the money working. But you guys, this is so divine. It's absolutely beautiful. You can see so many things in there, and you will know when your work, when your lamp is burning, that all of this that you need and want is coming to you. Okay. Have a really beautiful day. Oh, let me let me light it for you. Why not? Okay, and you probably want to be burning some of this dried onion skins. If you let onion skins fall on the ground, you are throwing away your prosperity. But if you burn them, they will bring money toward you and riches. You could add some bank ash, or you could just shred some of this paper up and add it to your oil lamp, but for me that doesn't look like super natural. This is a brand new lamp. It's And just have control of your lamp, you know, don't let it control you. <laughs> um, but, you know, if you have to turn it off, just dip that wick all the way down below. And I gotta say, with a brand new lamp, these adjusters are like butter. Whereas these ones, they get really old and tired over time. That's okay. Um, but these new ones, I do have to say, it's just like absolutely amazing. Okay, guys, have a beautiful day, and thanks for joining me, Jen the Taxidermy Witch. Well, we did a money lamp for uh, hoodoo workings to bring money very, very fast. And again, if you haven't seen this video, check it out, the one before this, because also the herbs that I put in here, you can burn uh, as an incense on a coal disc, okay? Have a beautiful day. Thanks for coming back to the Taxidermy Witch.